Ladies and gentlemen, where we last left off, Sir Soyit has never known defeat. Oh, let's check the stats, man. Check the stats. How, how very silly of me. Also, welcome in Twitter. As we check the stats, here's where we are in the Elden Ring Suffer Core Twitter. Premium as we check the live. Stats. Here's talking. where we are in the Elden Suffer Core Live Premium Challenge. Here's where we are. Dang dance. 500, 5,633 deaths. Story bosses, 4 of 11. 21 of 43. We're halfway done with the game, baby. Expected timer, 5. 50 expected completion date we're driving how this is what i care about consumer confidence definitely trick matriculating up confidence that we're going to beat this thing in 2024 don't forget you can submit your predictions once per day currently the prediction leaders p billy bob camdor three putmas why not you guys why not now been around since 2014 five years of horse subs here's to 50 more dang hug lord campbell thank you for the five space why i appreciate it this is bothering me chat not gonna lie this open andy right here is bothering yo this game's almost over it's literally almost over is can we can we clean up scaldu atlas pleasies let's clean up some of this right Scale to Atlas, please. Let's clean some of it up. All right. Yo, we finally get to level up 230,000 souls. Why not us? Why not now? We'll, we'll dump it into to strength, right? Strength, please. My strength is 99. All right. We'll, we'll put it in mind. I got you. Put it in mind. 215,000 runes. All right. The world's our oyster. Here's our map. Should we continue to go this way? Let's press on. The world will end before you beat it. Who just said that? You are hard capped on everything. There's no way you're getting stronger ever. That's what you keep saying, but there's things that always keep popping up like, oh, we got this red set armor, more D. Oh, we're playing out of our gourd, more D. Oh, here's a nice little talisman that you didn't know about, more D. We're gonna be have more D and more D and more D than you've ever seen in your entire life. Cause that's what we do and that's how we do it. We find ways to squeeze the rind to make a nice vintage Chianti, here we go. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate your acquiescence. Papa JH tipped three dollars. So are we not going to talk about your egregious McDonald's order with extra ice in your drink underscore? Look, I don't know what you're talking about, Papa J. But I sent this to Northern Lion. The tweet said, hey, we are in this brother. Good week of streams. Here is my order. It was Saturday night. I'm like, treat yourself maybe saturday late i don't know what saturday late afternoon large coke zero extra ice one hamburger and one small french fry it wasn't until after i posted this i realized i got scammed on the french fries i should have just got two hamburgers but we'll take it what's what's the what's the problem with this order what's what's the issue with the order no coke all ice hear me out extra ice makes the drink extra cold the more ice you you add the colder the drink gets you've been missing out let's go not more water it's more ice You can get a double cheeseburger, four nuggets, small fries, and a drink for five bucks. Yeah, but I don't want a double cheeseburger. I want a hamburger. Your iced tea is always 90% ice, my man. What is, chat, what is wrong with that order? I order McDonald's like maybe once a month as a nice little treat. 
and then I can't even share that with you. I'm getting roasted here. I'm like, yeah, like, oh, you know what? It was a good week of streams. He does deserve that $6.83 meal. It's like eating with no vig. <laughs> that is not an egg roll type order. Hamburger and fries is a... If hamburger and fries is a double egg roll order, you know what? And call me six foot three. Oh, what is this? You deserve prime rib after you beat the DLC. Organic farm to table. I'm with you. What is that? Albunarax shack. Wait, that's one of those frogmen. Stop dodging question. What is this? A Apollo's in the game? I've never seen anyone a normie enemy riding a a wolf? Yo, that's a George R. Martin difference. Holy. I was not expecting that. She's an albuterol? No, she's not. She doesn't have frog face. Gaius is Greaves. Um, but yeah, Chad, what's wrong with the order? She doesn't have frog face. Big lore item. Black iron greaves made for Commander Gaius. A cruel joke, or he could not wear them. Riding atop the boar, he called his other half. Gaius was an in fact a warrior of Albuterac. Why couldn't he wear them? He didn't have legs? Yes, he did. So, chat, let's put, let's put this bit to bed. Why in chat, if you think ordering a hamburger, small fry, and Coke Zero from McDonald's, why do you think that's a weird order? And in chat for no. Bun, because I was feeling saucy. My normal order does not have the bun. You forgot the extra ice? That's Ooh. like saying there's ketchup Damn, on the my burger. my two-year-old eats more than that and he weighs 30 pounds. 55% say it's... It's not a weird order. 45% think it is a weird order? Yes, for the Coke Zero. What's wrong with getting extra ice in your drink to make it extra cold? Why no cheese? I got a hamburger. It's not a... It's not a burger with no cheese. It's just called a hamburger. Hamburgers didn't start getting chefed up until people started calling it a cheeseburger. It waters it down. Adding ice to a drink does not water it down unless you let it sit in the sun forever. Which not, man. The drinks are meant to be drunken. Putting ice in a drink does not water it down. It only gets watered down if you don't drink it. It takes value from the drink. That's why I got a large one. To make it medium cold. Unreal bait? It's not unreal. It's what I ordered. It comes out of the machine cold? Yes, but I like it colder. It's like back in the day, man. One of my favorite things I used to do. I'd go to Ponderosa the only place you could do it man you get ice in one of those glass cups you go up to that little little hose coming out of that metal machine pull the handle ice cold milk on top of ice it's a new level chat i don't i don't understand you know what maybe a lot of viewers are from europe that was the one thing when i went to uh italy no one's got ice man ice is like a delicatessen i like ice in my drink it makes it colder. The extra cold is the water, not the drink itself. Yeah, tell it to the Coke Zero that's three, degree, three degrees colder when I drink than when you drink it. Let's go. Just ask for a cup of ice on the side. That's like ordering fajitas at a restaurant. I don't want to do the work. The whole point of going to 
a restaurant is so you don't do work. Give me, give me all the work put into a one vessel so I don't have to do it. Speaking of vessels. We just have drinks stored properly. Yeah, Kid Amnesiac, I've, I've seen what kind of drinks you guys have in Europe. They got all kind of fancy bottles and caps that you can't even take off. I've seen them. All your best drinks are imported from the USA. Can I get some K-Konas in chat? Scad you tree chalice, a lot of perp. Scad you tree chalice, wait. Did the scad you tree get burnt? Oh, why don't they just call this the font of resin while they're at it? Holy, the font of resin. Uh, this is, hey, if you're playing Elden Ring and you want to uh, learn how to beat the game with ease and have a shortcut, go to the Skadju Tree Resin Fountain. That You can beat the game in one fall swoop just by using all these five items they put right there. How to beat Elden Ring. There you go, 30 seconds. So anyways, I will not... Uh, let me ask this, why in chat if when you order a drink you get ice in it? And if no... What's the vote on this one? 68% of chat gets ice in their drink. So you mean to tell me 33% of you go to a restaurant, order a drink and say no ice? There's also no fizz in it either if you don't get ice. Ice creates more fizz. Ew. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. If we went out to eat and you and you ordered a drink, hold the ice, I would literally get up and walk away from the table. Ice does not re remove fizz. Have you ever seen a drink with no ice and you add ice into it? More fizz starts to happen. What's even worse than that is there are people who go to restaurants and ask for Pepsi. Gruz. If I put ice in a beer, I put salt in a beer. Take path behind move statue. Yo, Marcellus, thank you. Is the behind the moved cup? Oh, I got you. I know where. I know what you're talking about. Thank you. Let's go. What if I don't want ice in my Bordeaux? Why would why would you put ice in Bordeaux? What, how is that going to change Drew Penn Aller? It's an interesting team to rebuild because even though they're consistently good, hey, they've lost Drew seven Aller. straight games to the Buckeyes. They've and never made it to the college about football have a playoffs. Quarterback and it's named been Drew almost Aller. 40 years since they won a championship. The Big Ten's also a lot more where's, difficult where's now. And the last time that I used Penn State in this game, Donovan Edwards why, beat me by a ton of points. Why would you put ice in Bordeaux? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, only college football fans know. All right, here we go. All right, so I think we cleared here. We got we got some items. We got some ice. There's nothing else hidden in here. We should try that game sometime. I think we're gonna play it tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. Chefing up the macaroni, I'm with you. I honestly like Sharing, uh, I will put a cap on this. Sharing my McDonald's order with you, I felt was like a decision of unity. You know, there's been some disunity lately um, about approaches to dating, things of that nature. But I thought hamburger, French fry, and a Coke Zero, I thought that would unite us all. Um, speaking of hamburgers, Bear Mode, if you could pull up... Uh, Walter Matthau saying hamburgers. We'll get a couple of hamburgers after the season's over. The way Walter Matthau says hamburgers is second to none. It's from, uh, it's from uh, the Bad News Bears. Now, I can't even pronounce how he says hamburgers. Get a couple of hamburgers. Um, 
when he's talking to Tatum O'Neill. Walter Matthau hamburgers. Bad news bears. Do you think we could find it? Get a couple hamburgers after the season's over. I don't know when he says it. Bad news bears hamburgers. Buttermaker. Do you think we could find Chad, I'm telling you the way he says hamburgers, you've never heard anyone enunciate the word the words like that. How come it's not? We'll get a couple hamburgers. Chad, can you can you look search for movie scripts? It's a very good idea, man. You think we can get a couple? No excuses, Boilermaker. It's all fixed, and I'm paying you. We get a couple of hamburgers. Or I don't get along, so we're not going. We get a couple. Me and you will go. Just get a couple hamburgers. On a dinner or a movie or anywhere else together. Do you understand? And just keep your elbow in the water. Well, then just you and I will go. Yeah, right. You and I will take the whole team out. Here, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. Listen, listen, listen to how he says hamburgers. I'm gonna turn it up. I'll get some hamburgers or some Who says it like that? Water. Well, then just you and I will go. Yeah, right. You and I will take the whole team out and get some hamburgers or some pizza <laughs> or something. I couldn't even write how he says it. What does he say? Then just you and I will go. Yeah, right. You and I will take the whole team out and get some hamburgers or some... There's like an I. Like Corey Hamburgers. Sorry. All right, let's go. Let's go fight a boss. Ha. Ha. I can't even say it. I wish I could. Ham Oigers? But there's an H-A-I-M. Soundboard, that's at Baramoto's domain. This is the right way to go, I'm guessing. That sounded exactly how I imagined he would say it. I'm with you. Oh, why are we all red? Go back to where, Defcon? I never saw the movie Twisters. I only watch movies that are exciting, entertaining, and or funny. Uh, why would I want to watch a movie about weather? I don't even like when people talk about the weather. Did you see the weather today? Yeah, I did. I'm outside. I, I see the sky. How about this weather we're having? Yep, I see it. All right. Chad, I, I don't, I, I say this in my head and I need to remove it. But whenever someone talks to me about the weather, I'm like, okay, they have nothing better to talk about. I know that's a really not nice thing to do, but holy, what is this? This is Melania's garden if it was fertilized. Weather is an important topic, maybe for yourself. But you telling me something about the weather is not on the docket. Go back. Marcellus Wallace. Everyone's saying we don't have an item. No, uh, Quoku, we beat the, the hog boss. All right, chat. Marcellus Wallace, I'm not saying you're losing the aux cord, but where do we where are we going here? So there was really nothing up here. This burnt skadu tree. Angry mom, what's going on? Um, I feel like isn't there another boss in the Manus Castle we need to do? No, I need to. I you know what? 
Cheetos, I need to pull Chatterino up. I'm doing that right now. Yeah, Liza P is amazing. We're looking for a non Omega boss. We, let's get gold for today is knock out two bosses. Boss in the church district. There are three bosses here you can fight now. Marcellus Walls. Chat, why have you endorsed that? Three bosses in here we could fight? I like that we're here, but this is a secret area too. All right, let's do it. We can talk about the weather. Whether or not you'll beat the DLC by 2025. Old game dad, thank you for the bits. Don't oh, plus do that. Okay, it'll come back. It's, so we're okay to explore this area. What you're saying. Alanya's fertilized garden. Okay. What is this area called, by the way? Just for context. How come it doesn't tell us the name of the place? All right. The Hinterlands? All right. I like it. Not many places in Elden Ring are like fertilized like this, you know? It's like everything's so desolate. This is like, there's bees and honey around here. Turn the music. My old buddy. He looks different though. Why does he look different? What's poppy gamers? I think we're a couple. I think we're supposed to be at 33, so this should be 34. One, two, three. Is that right? Wait, real quick. Lore reasons. Why couldn't Commander Pig wear those pants? He did have legs, though. How could he kick the? The pig to tell it where to go. And also, just because you don't have legs doesn't mean you can't wear pants. We're an expert in ho unhorsing now, man. With a backhand. Albuterax legs degenerate when they get older. So the, those frogmen, the frogmen are Albuterax, right? Also, get me out of this armor. But how, they're running around. So I was taking my, uh, my sons to camp this morning. And they're like, Dad, what game are you playing today? And I'm like, ah, you guys don't know. And my youngest son, it goes, are you playing the one where it's like a little guy and you punch people? And I said, Spelunky? He said, yeah, that one. I said, no. He goes, what are you playing? And then my, uh, my older son goes, are you playing the game where you have a guy with a cat face? And I was like, yes, but it's not a cat face. It's a helmet. And then, but I didn't want to get into what Uwu was with him. But he knows who this guy is. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I didn't, they're not ready for the Yeet lineage yet, man. My, my oldest son was waiting for me to say college football. Borderline obsessed with it, but that's alright. Be who we are, not who you're not. Look, we took out Pig in a blanket, we can take you. He's like us.
This is is this the same tree sentinel? Wait, if there's a tree sentinel, it means there's is there gonna be a tree man here? No. Uh, I think we're gonna play. So there's an early stream tomorrow at 8 a.m. I think we're gonna Happy play Monday, college football Daniel chat. tomorrow. Clone, thank you for the six months. I appreciate it. Reed, thanks for the 31 months. All right. Let's get this toast. There's lore reasons why they are here. Okay. Why in the first fight in Elden Ring? Why is that tree sentinel there? There's no trees near there. Thanks, Danny Skins. I'll stop the show and fix it right now. Where's the honey? Where's the honey hole? No honey hole on a tree? That's that's where honey is stored, Evan. You ever seen Winnie the Pooh? What do you mean there's no honey hole on a tree? Man, it's so good. It's so good to have him back on his foot up, man. We can be who we are. An L2 out of our gourds. Boss one. 15 minutes into the run today. That's who we are. Blessing of Marika. What's he doing with a bottle of Marika? Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. A special physic blessed by Marika. Marika created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. Where did she get the juice from? Is that a new, is that a one-time usage thing or what is that? Yeah. One-time use. Chat, consumer confidence going through the roof. We're gonna beat this in 2024. Went to a wedding this weekend and the wedding favors were little jars of homemade syrup. I'm okay with that depending on the presentation. What did the jars look like? Were they standard mason jars? Were they like kid pics printed out? Pre, pre folded templates? Dan, what's kid pics? I don't know what kid pics is. What, you didn't grow up in the 90s? You know what kid pics is? Are you kidding me? This is what I grew up doing, man. Everett. You don't know kid pics? <laughs> we need to get, look at man, they had a goodies tab. Do they still make kid pics? Do they still make kid pics? Get kid pics in your computer lab in grade two? I'm with you. The buddy, the buddy who I played rattle me bones with and then stole his dad's AOL password. They are, they're the ones that had kid pics. Can I use that to make the next airdrop? I could another one. By the way, I don't, we, let me check on him. I, I reached out to rattle me bones Dorito. Um, on Facebook, Let's is he coming after me? Let me see if he responded. Kid was the best of all time. Is he coming after me? Two days, no message from him yet. His sister got back to me on LinkedIn after like 18 hours. What? It, what are these guys guarding? Ooh. 
at Dan Geesling Village to the south of the fort. We need to change our Pepsi bottles. Village to the south before bridge. Got you. Thank you. With a backhand. Pepsi bottle? I'm with you. All right. Scad you view? That's a that's the name of this place is Scad you view? What's where's the poise? Stone bar. Is that the poise one? Can I open the map? You've never been here? Secret man. Geobane, this 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 is this is for the people that don't use resin. Secrets. It's not Peepo G. You have to you have to go mother oh mother to a statue. That McDonald's order was resin. You want to see resin? I'll show you resin. Here's resin. <laughs> Spent so long trying to figure out how to get here. The game knows how to make you feel like a genius for figuring out small puzzles. Direful pot, did you figure it out without um, help? That's pretty impressive. You did? I don't know how you guys figure that out. Giga Chads? Is there a lore reason why they don't have honey holes? It's a great question. They should, shouldn't they? Boost attack power, precision aim shots. I bet Hob uses that talisman a lot, huh? Where's that? Oh, we need jar shard. There it is. Wait, do we have the two-hander on? There we go. I guarantee Hob uses the heck out of that. Fjord, what's going on? Two easy bosses. Two easy bosses. Chad, there, if you don't think we're going to complete this game by October 2024, I don't know who you think you are. Like, literally. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what. He wishes he knew. We're the Poke King of the Midwest. Damahuji Polka. Polka King of the Midwest. Polka, Polka, Polka. Polka, Polka. Polka. Hang in here. Nice try, buddy. Our HP bar did not get longer. This isn't a boss. Please be serious. Dude, dude. Uh, do me one quick favor before we get into this discourse. Exclamation point boss in chat. Exclamation point boss in chat.
boss should say any enemy with a name and a red bar on the bottom is considered a boss both in Miyazaki canon and channel lore. If you're playing this game and you hear music change and you see red bar on the bottom and you see name, you're like, oh, it's boss time. You're boss gating me? Coca-Cola and Pepsi glass. I really like the emo prefix is dang, like aw oh, dang, but it stands for Dan Geesling. Yeah, it's just I think we just got lucky with that. Lock in. Can I get burger? Burger after burger after burger. Hear me out. I don't want to cook for Baromoto. But Walter Matthau saying burger. Burger. After. Then you slide the after and then the burger at ha oh, hamburg burger after hamburg. Oh, that could that could be soundboard of the year right there, man. These bits don't write themselves. Ooh. Thank you for all the pogs you deliver straight to my frontal cortex. Yo, Jill Bob, thank you. My pleasure. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's no, go. hell, dog, I need to do that. Yo, Dan, just landed a dream job a couple months ago, so no more ad slurping. Shout out to Murph and Minting Fish for gifties while I was in between jobs. Dang hug. Yo, Murph and Minting. Thank you for keeping my man Jessica afloat. Kept them off the ad buffet. It's a nice sub message. Congrats, by the way. What's your new job? All right. Lock in, please. I'm a simple man. I see someone with a red icon next to their name says lock in. I got you. You know how I know we're locked in? We're gonna get a free L2. No albums out. They call me Babe the Blue Ox because all we do is chop wood. <laughs> I forgot to change our talismans. You make prosthetics and leg braces for horses. That's that's a cool job. Uh, Jarmy. What's didn't we get another good talisman too? That makes L twos better. What makes L twos better? What does it look like? No, we got we we picked up another shard. Landing them. Not gonna plus two you for that. What does it look like? No, there's one that says makes L twos better. Axe talisman? No, it doesn't say that in description. There was another one. Aren't, not, there's another one we got. Because this is not ideal. We're missing one. There's another one. We have shard. We have two hand. We have ritual. 
Let's go. Isn't there another one we Does have anyone that else gives us think more D? Dan Giesling kinda looks like the UPS guy from Legally Blonde. Sprint gravy. The UPS guy from Legally UPS guy Legally Blonde. Dungeon Master, pull that up. Not even close. I thought we had one more damage talisman. We're missing. That's what it was. Enhances critical hits, Chad. That's the one I was talking about. You can't crit this boss? Watch me. Crits and L2s are synonymous. Why are we so heavy? What? What? How did we just get heavy for no reason? Look at these beautiful flowers, man. That's what I'm saying, Yellowstone. It looks like Melania's fertilized garden. There we go. It's literally Melania's area, but fertilized. Greg to the past, what's good, you piece? Turn the believers into doubters! Marimoto cooked with that one, man. Same to you, brother. Thanks for the dono, brother, man. Isn't this like the first boss of the game? Vapor Trail. Come on. Flush Earth, what do you mean yes? You can't just say yes. Why would you just say yes like that? Can I wait for your coins to regen? No, go all in right now. What? Let me ask you this. How can that guy drive that horse? There's stuff over the horse's eyes. Doesn't make any sense. Drive the horse? Why'd you put drive in parentheses? There are guards on the horse's eyes, but they can't see. The horse can't see. 30x for the believers. I see the horse and I squeaks it. Let's get this. Let's get this toast, man. Yeah, parable. Audible. There, there's no honey hole on this boss. 
Ryan Air 96, welcome. B Dan welcomes you in. I guess we're gonna have to get the PB out, huh? That soundboard is evergreen. Did I see that? Did you see that Squeaks is playing Mario again? It's come to accept the fact that the Squeaks that we once all knew, loved, and cared about is no longer with us. What you see now playing Mario 64 is a shell of a the Squeaks, man. A shell of a Squeaks. Some would even say a Koopa's shell of a Squeaks. Guess this guy's just AI generated new moves on the fly. You disagree? Slowly clawing our boy back. You know what? Call me when you see this. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. If that comes back organically without asking him for it then there's hope but if you have to ask for it if you have to ask for it then it's not organic do the marker bit what marker bit? E e e e e e. That marker bit? again in Mario 64 it's already happened I've already beaten him I I need another mountain to climb Jackie Dan congrats on the baby <laughs> Mom, yeah we beat Mesmer believers in shambles today race squeaks IRL I don't want to massacre him. Anything physical I could beat Squeaks in. It's not even close. Like, that's not fair. Anything remotely athletic, I can beat Squeaks in. And it, and it, if you think otherwise, I, I seriously question your ability to decipher reality from reality. Squeaks called himself a nerd jock. He got one part of that statement, right? All right, let's go get this win. Are right, you ready to win, chat? Chat, you can, you can always tell if someone is an athlete based on their foot speed and, and how they use their feet. I saw I've, every athletic competition I've seen Squeaks in. He looks like a turtle with butter shoes on, trying to catch a baseball on ice. And Gary, on the other hand, he does walk on his toes. So I think that gives him like a little extra burst. El Tumi. Greed.
Solid PB. Yeah, where's we we should probably set our PB, huh? PB is what, 50? I don't know, Dan. Squex owns a Letterman jacket. He bought it when the last show aired. What do you mean he bought? You can't buy a Letterman jacket. You have to earn them. All right, let's get this toast. El Tuna PA? I know someone from there. Hang in here. You versus the horse she told you about? Lefty two guns, AKA lefty horse. Any Donny Brasco fans opening scene? Thank you for the appraisal. Star Sleep might be the only one that gets that joke. Have you ever seen the opening to Donny Brasco? Yeah. I don't have the typewriter scene. It's at the beginning. Never mind. I was going to show it. They don't have it. Don't talk to Dan about a Letterman jacket. He was all American in horsing. If I knew where my Letterman's jacket's where I'd put it on right now for a bit, but I don't know where it is. This stream may have the least topical references on the entire platform on a weekly basis. You've never seen the, it's the opening scene when the credits are rolling to Donnie Brasco. They're typing in all of Al Pacino's nicknames. Lefty Two Guns, AKA Lefty. Lefty Horse Redacted. You don't, you don't know that part? That's the best part of the movie. It sets the tone. Rob Gucci, welcome in. First time chatter. What is this build? Rob Gucci, I got something for you. Rob, welcome in. I'm a, I put this video together just for you. Why do we have any Vic? A great question. Two years ago, we were playing Elder. We, we were fighting Radon, and one guy in chat came in and said, I bet you can't beat Radon with no Vic. So immediately, we went over, respect at Radon, we took our Vic down to zero, kept it as a blessing. And two years later, here we are playing the DLC for the first time with no Vic. Some people may say, Yeah, you're playing with no Vic despite chat. I think we're playing no big despite drive by horsing. They call me Chopin because all I do is play keys. But it, one question mark out of Konal? That's odd. Normally it's a three question mark or minimum. What is that? You swing and I ding. Projectile reflected. You should know Cerso Yeet doesn't use resin. 
Bobbies! Get up, kid. John in Tennessee, go ahead. What you want to say? That's trash. Don't get off the airway. Oh, come Aww. on. Man. I did think about doing two factor. New, new PB, though. New PB. All right. This guy whiffs more than you. Oh, what do you mean? When's the last time we've ever whiffed the visor? Now I can get good return on your sunken believer points. PB bar on the first boss in the game is funny. What do you mean? For, this is not the first boss in the game. Heal yourself before you heal one another. John in Tennessee, go ahead. What you want to say? Trash! Oh, trash! On, trash! Trash! All right, let's get this toast, chat. Uh, now's the run. Tuckster, rooting for you. Hey, welcome in, buddy. You know what they all, they call you often? H -I -M, I -M -M. I am him. Plesiosaurus, I noticed that you followed the stream today, but you've been a tier two subscriber for years. Care to explain? Let's go. Good morning, Picontus Como Se Dice. It's not going 54 in Espanol. Como Se Dice, that sounds like a an indie roguelike card game. Como Se Dice. Mirror Bear, thank you for the 54, you peace. Appreciate the support. More the type of game that Decoy Codes has on his back shelf. One of the two. What is this, greed? He can do it if he's patient. This music is so epic. BM Mondays? It's not, it's not BM Monday. It's actually Advice Monday. But I, I didn't. I'm just was just trying to just ease on into it. I didn't want to open up the can. But speaking of can opening, Let's open one on these pieces. Horse activated? What do you mean? Horse activated. All right. Chat, you know when we dial, we win. And we're gonna win and dial. Well, plus two bit, what bit? Randy Orton would be pr proud of this playthrough. The nose wipe is to tell for bits? What nose wipe? The nose wipe is a tell for bits. Beats champ, first time chatter says, a death every 90 seconds on average, my man. Beats champ, are you 123's little brother? Also welcome in. Take a two piece. Burger after, after burger. 
after <laughs> burger. Chad, sometimes I wish you would know knew the context of that clip. It's too deep though. It's too it's too deep in in WWE lore, but it makes it even funnier. All right. We have zero dial. Rescue Ryan. What do you mean? All right, is this a cry for help? Did you need to be rescued after that zero out of 10 movie that I walked out of that you made? Ryan's World Titan Squad? That's the best you could come up with and shot with a handy cam? Watching the clip on YouTube explains it. Yeah, but most people aren't going to do that. There is no dial. Bendeo, what does your date? What does your name mean? What's the origin story of Bendeo? Bendeo. Bendeo. Got no Twitch name, and I like Beetlejuice. Tell me the story. You're gonna you're gonna say there's no dial. That is my P.O. box. Yeah, yeah, yeah two-factor. <laughs> Michael? Fogmere one. Welcome in. Roll up the golden welcome mat for Fogmere. Fogmere, what is the challenge of this run? So first time playing the DLC, and I can sit here and explain it, but let me edit up a video for you. Er, 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 er. There you Michael go. Vic, great question. Two years ago, we were playing Elden Ring. We were fighting Radon. Chad, is that way too dank or is that Chad good? came in and said, I bet you can't beat Radon with no Vig. So immediately we went over, respect our Alanya, I can took pump our it. Vig down to zero, kept Fia's blessing. And two years later, here we are playing the DLC for the first time with no Vig. Some people may say, Dan, you're playing with no Vig despite chat. I say we're playing no Vig despite one guy in chat. Sire, at least put on the horse talisman, D. Mm -hmm. The tarnished Dan Geesley. What a piece. Yeah, the burger clip is really good. Everybody dance eight. Why not get some vig? Did you just say what I thought you said? Vig. I mean, what's a Vig? I don't even know what that is around here. I don't even know what that is. What does that even mean? How many sounds are there on your soundboard? One of these days, I have a Dropbox folder with them all in there. One of these days, I'll open it up. One of these days. He brushed him across the back of the head. I generally don't think it's going 25. It's not. How many attempts did Gaius end up taking? Exclamation point Gaius Doc Modius, I believe. You're running straight into his attacks, LMFAO. El Yenarico, imagine us running straight into attack after playing Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, aka Dark Souls Light, Demon Souls PS3, Demon Souls PS5, Elden Ring, now Elden Ring DLC, and Lies of P, and Armored Core, all Souls games, and think we're going to run straight into attacks. El Yenarico, come on now. Imagine us running straight into an attack. It's not that he was shooting poorly. He just wasn't shooting. Super. 
There's some good ones on here, man. Uh, a piece. <laughs> you know, Gordon, if I'd have been on the Titanic, I'd have said, don't worry, boys. We're only stopping for ice. For more ice for your Coke Zero, buddy. Here we go. All right. Little stroll down memory lane. Spamming dodge roll should cancel the animation. We don't cancel animations. Lost 15 dang coins on believing. That's why you're LFMAOing. That's why. That's why the salt. I get it. Hard earned dang coin. I look. Just bet better, forehead. Heal me. Ooh. Hey Dan, me and my fiance of five years are getting married soon. Do you have any advice to what helps make for a happy and healthy marriage? Yes. Now let me let me let me let me ask you this. Kunj, thanks for the 18 months. You're asking for the marriage. You gotta get there first, buddy. Like just because you've been dating someone for five years, automatically <laughs> thinks that you know. The big ceremony or whatever is coming up. There's there's still a chance. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate your acting. There's still a chance that, you know, second, Dan underscore second junior. guessing. Tipped three dollars, Daniel. I've been watching the show for nearly a decade and always had this one thing bugging me. Is it okay if I ask a personal question? Yeah, go ahead. If it's too personal, please let me know and I can stop. Yes. What I wanted to know is, still here? Welcome, brand new subscriber. What do you mean, still here? Popcorn pick, thanks for the prime. Um, best, your fiance of five years. Uh, Kunj, can you hop in the Discord, bud? Hop in the Discord. Hop in the Discord, bud. I gotta join the Discord. Go ahead, exclamation point Discord and chat or discord.gg slash Dan Giesling. Zero vetting? What do you mean? Been subscribed for a year and a half. What about zero vetting? This is a Northern Lions chat. You know? There's a bunch of faint bunnies running around telling them how to play every roguelike card game from here to Terre Haute. We got real people in this chat, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We got we to gotta tighten. It starts with the camera. We got to tighten up a little bit here. Let's tighten up. Let's tighten up your chat. Tighten up a little bit. Tighten up. This is how you know we're locked in. Maximum dial protocol. Anti-glance tech. You can't hide from this. Angry Gordon, we did beat Commander Pig. Take a mouthful of that. Extra oats. That's a piece. New move, huh? Two can play horse games. Two factor, two factor, two factor authentication. Ooh. 
I just tighten up a little bit. Tighten up chat. All right, let's get this toast. Three minutes of ads. What is this, a college football game? 07 ad eaters. Didn't we beat one of these guys 15 minutes ago? This one's harder. Dan, can you what? Nito, Nito, ask me again. I didn't get a chance to see it. I just saw someone's response. Wait for it. This this do, this this horse should do a donkey kick, man. The faster you get down, you can roll to get up faster. Since when? You peace. Oh. All right. Let's go. Hey Dan, me and my fiance of five years are getting married soon. Do you have any advice to what helps make for a happy and healthy marriage? Yo, Kunj. Hop in the Discord, bud. Hop in the Discord. Kunj, what's going on? Hey Dan, how are you doing today? Hey, I am excellent. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I just woke up not too long ago, woke up to the stream, so you know, we're starting off pretty good today. Uh, hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just going to tell you right now, this conversation took a complete 180 because of how you answered the call. I'm like, oh really? Yeah, you just sound like you sound like a chipper, just nice individual. I'm like, I can't BM this guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I do have to ask since you asked me. You right, said right, 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 right. you you've been engaged for five years. Okay, so not engaged for five years, but she's been my she's my fiance. We recently got engaged. We've been dating for five. Years. We oh. met. We we met online we started talking pre-covid oh, and man, so there's a lot to unpack here first off uh, we met online what is that did you met on like a bbs or how did you meet online playing wow uh no tinder tinder okay so like it was like a swipe uh yeah we both swiped yeah why did you uh, swipe we, on her i mean she just, uh we had both had like a lot of similar interests we listened to a lot of the same music we both had similar interests when it came to watching like TV shows, playing games. We, we just had a lot of like the same interests on a lot of different like, levels. Like hit me with a few of those interests. So TV shows, games, like what, what, what are we talking here? Uh, TV shows, like uh, pr pretty much almost anything that either of us have enjoyed watching, we can show it to the other person and they'll enjoy it as much. Give me not some examples. We talking, we talking like um, Death what? Note? Are we talking uh, One Piece? Uh, I mean, yeah, I did get her into One Piece, uh, but we, like, honestly, it ranged from everything, like a bit of anime to things ranging into, like, The Boys, or uh, even, like, all, anything that kind of piques our interest. Like, it, it's kind of hard to, like, put anything towards it, because without, like, naming a lot of things that you probably like, whoa, that's a lot of weird things that you're talking no, about. No, 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 I would never say that, but, like, hit me with one. Like, what's one thing she recommended that you didn't know that you liked? Uh, she actually recommended to me a lot of, like, uh, some of the DC cartoons. I wasn't big into comic books, uh, for a long time, and she got me into them. Like, like, what's a DC cartoon? Uh, like the Young Justice series. Who's in Young Justice? 
Uh, it's a lot of like the Young Justice League members. She only recently got me into that one, so I'm still learning it, uh, a little bit of it myself. Like as someone who has never heard the term Young Justice, I thought it was like a new rapper. Who like who would a member of Young Justice be? Right, like they'd be like uh, like the Robins, the Batmans. Okay. Like the Kid Flashes. Okay, I guess so. Like basically, Nightwing. like some of the the good superheroes, but just like kid versions of them. Uh, yeah, they're kids, like, they're sidekicks, protégés, like, kind of, like, the future of the Justice League. But, like, it's not, the, it's the Batman's kid or mini Batman? Batman's kid. Uh, what? Not mini Batman. Oh, what's Batman's kid's name? I didn't know he had a Robin. kid. Rob, uh, wait. If you really want to be technical, Wait, 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 Ro Robin is Batman's son? Some of them are, some of them aren't. Wait, 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 wait. There's one Robin... There's a few Robins, a few different Robins have taken up the mantle over time. Let me, like, well, hold one on. of them would, I'm talking okay. about the, the Robin with the red shirt and the yellow cape who's like five years younger than Batman is his son? No, not that one. There have been a few different named individuals like there's Nathan, like there's Tim Drake. There's a few others that like I'm, I'm bad Wait, with names. Aren't, so they, I, aren't those like Disney shows, Tim and Drake? <laughs> You're thinking Drake and Josh, I think. Okay. So anyway, so there, so it's the kids of all like the Avenger type people. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Although I think we're getting a bit off the point, Dan. Okay, but so she got you into that. What did? What's one thing you got her into? I I got her. I think I the magnum opus. I got her into One Piece, and she actually enjoys it now. Okay. Have you? I don't know anything about it besides it's like two thousand episodes. Have you watched all of them? Yep. Okay. I've watched all of it. I've been keeping up to date with it weekly. I've, it's one of the few things that like genuinely is one of my most enjoyable things. All right, let me ask you this. This is completely a sidetrack, but what would you say to a, like a streamer that you watch and maybe like enjoy that if they bought a sealed box of One Piece trading cards, the first one, and just threw it in a locker for a while, what kind of investment? What, what, are we bearish or bullish on, on that investment? I mean, you could be looking at a, you could be looking at a bit of a good, like, profit to make there because some of those cards can be worth a little bit, but I never get my hopes up on, like, the price of cards because you're, you're pretty much putting all your ducks into the basket of a loot box, which, sure, you can get a good payout, but just, like, there are more incidents in which you're probably going to be losing money than you're gaining. I like to open up the cars just to look at the nice art. Okay, I got you. So, all right, to tie this thing back. So it's COVID time. You're swiping. You're like, she likes one piece. I like one piece. I, I could like one piece. You go out on well, a d date. So, and so uh, let, let me rewind a little bit. We started talking. We started dating in October of 2019. So right before yeah. everything about COVID started to get out there. Uh, she had she was living in an apartment with a roommate at the time. I was living in a studio. It just kind of became easier for me to stay over at her place. So whoa, 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 hold on. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. on. I, I, now I know <laughs> you're probably gonna say, Kunj, I think you're jumping the boat there. And I think I might say yes with a bit of a horse too. But you know, it worked out okay. i saw a lot of relationships fall apart during covid because i noticed that a lot of relationships when the, when the people were having to be together a lot of the time they realized that they weren't as compatible as they were so i think that most relationships that started during covid that managed to make it through could be a stronger relationship and seeing I as mean, how it's worked out for you you've been you've been dating her for five years and you're not married it worked out for you but what about her hasn't she been wanting to tie the knot and you're just like well let's, let's hey, wait hey, let's, hey. Let, let's finish one piece first honey five hey. years later hey hey i at, so i'm somebody who i can go with the flow with a lot of things so i told like i we talked about this like a couple years into the relationship and we were like when do we want to get married I was a recently graduated student. She waited uh, a college student. She wanted to wait a few years before going to college. So we decided maybe it would be best for both of us to have our college degrees before we jump into a marriage. That way, like we can both get our careers started. We don't have to worry about like 
classes and everything like that getting into the way we can feel like true full adults before we get married well let me let me let me drop this this nuke on your your preconceptions like let's okay. let's act like it adults buddy you're never an adult you're basically just a person that's you like you are so true on that i'm still fumbling my way around things but i think that the let's finish this to major milestone first before we jump into the next one okay helped a lot with planning. okay so so you had your degree yeah and, i had my degree and how uh, long how many years once you guys started dating did it take her to get her degree uh it took her about three years two three years okay so now so two three years but now you've been dating five years so what why the extra to buffer before engagement and getting married. I'm not judging, I'm just wondering. Just so that way we could like try to find a, like a job or a career that we could find some form of stability in. In the area that we're in, there's a lot of like revolving door businesses where like there's a good chance you get hired and then before your first evaluation, you so get fired. So basically you, you just like, so you're finding different ways to stall. Not defining different ways to stall. I mean, cause, cause you, 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 you do, two, you do two, two stalls at me. Well, it's once you get a degree. Well, it's once we get a job. Like, well, would you would you say that it's a better idea to just jump into a marriage without being fully prepared for it? All I'm saying is, my thing is, if you're worried about money, your bills get cut in half. So I take I take that off the table. Um, but five years, I mean, there's like. There's dragon feet, and then there's leaving like impressions in the sand that even the waves can't even get rid of. So, anyways. Okay. So, so anyway, okay. so so long story okay. short, but but you're a thousand percent sure she's ninety nine percent sure. No, we're both a hundred percent sure. I. Well, well, so but how I, do you how do you know? Like you you sound like about how do you know she is? So, like I said, I'm very much I'm a go with the flow type guy. I was the one that brought up to her, hey, when do you want to get married? Because. I could get married today. I'm fine getting married in five years. I want to get married when you are ready to get married. So I kind of put the ball in her court and I said, hey, you proposed to me. You tell me when you're ready to get married and we will start getting those whoa, preparations. Whoa, whoa, whoa. she proposed to you? I proposed to her. She said, not yet. And I said, okay, I will wait for you. So you come tell me when you're ready to get married and we'll go from there. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Let's, 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 let's walk that back for a second. So tell me how you proposed to her. So neither of us are the type that we like a lot of attention on us. Look, look, look. It was, it was a relaxing night. We hold had, on, hold we had on, gone hold out on. on a date. Hold on one second. Did we just win? Oh, that's poggers, Dan. Let's All right. go. So, so Kunj, I, I, I gotta, uh, I'm trying to help you out here a little bit. I understand. So, no, I understand. no, no, but so people in, and I'm, and I'm, and this is whenever I give feedback, it's for your benefit. Okay. It just happens to be in front of 1600 people. A lot of people are saying, I like this guy, but B DJ wheat face, DJ wheat face. Oh, it, DJ wheat face. He's, he's, he's one of my favorites of all time. He's the reason I got on Twitch. So I'm just telling you that. So like, just to like, for the narrative purposes and also for Cerso's dungeon, dungeon master, bring this up. Um, oh, so, sure, my, so my question was, uh, how did you propose to her? So it was a very casual thing. Okay. Like it, we had just, we had gone on a date. We had gotten dinner. We had seen a nice movie. We were on our way home. What we movie did you car. see? I want to say, oh God, what was it? What was it? I think... I'm genuinely forgetting right now. I okay. I was focused more on her during the whole thing. Okay. Uh, so so you got to like a, a a normal day. You go out to dinner, get a movie, you get in the car. Then when do you pop the question to her? Uh, I pop the question like we pull back up to our apartment. Like we're just chilling in there. We're talking a little bit, and I'm like, hey, would you like to get married? And she's like, I don't know wait, wait, if wait, I want to get wait, wait, married. Wait wait, wait 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 wait. Would you like to get married? Were you sitting in the car at the time? Yep. Seat belts like on. Wait, seat belts on? Yep, seat belts still on. Okay, 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 okay. And 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 you said, would you like to get married? And she says, not yet. I, well, okay, not exactly. Hey, would you like to get married? 
No, it was like, hey, so these are going very well, obviously, and you are the type of person that I think I want to spend the rest of my life with. Do you have any interest? Like, hey, would you, you like to get married, married at some point? Do you have any interest in getting married, my man? That's like, that's hey, a, no, hey, no, no, man. no, 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 hey, you're, hey, you're, hey, you're oh, crawling oh, into oh, battle. Oh, 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 you should be what? riding into battle on a golden steed saying, let's do this together. I got your back, <laughs> but would you kindly? <laughs> uh, that's why I'm going to say that's why you got the not yet. I've never heard of someone getting the not yet. Hey, hey, where were you through two hey, years ago hey. when you asked her to get engaged? You just you you went in there like, hey, uh, we just we went out to McDonald's. We we went hey. to the movies. Here's a Twinkie. Oh, uh, what's your interest level in getting married, buddy? Not yet is the, is the only appropriate response to that. Hey, but she had her own reasons, right? Yeah, because you limped into it. No. You got to go with hey. strength and conviction and say this is how I want to spend. Do you, uh, do you have any interest hey. is if you're selling her some like carpet cleaner? Dan, 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 I got a question for you. No, I got a question mm -hmm. for you. What did you hold expect up, up, her up, to up. say? Hey, I kind of knew I was going to expecting the nope because we both kind of knew that like- You went into like, it expecting a nope, then what are you asking for? Because she was wanted to know. Hey, what are you going to propose? Buddy, she didn't want to be she proposed. To she didn't want to be to proposed. She Toyota to herself with she, a seatbelt on her and a bunch of McDonald's bags all over the place. <laughs> she was wanting to know if there was going to be any future or if I was just trying to keep Yeah, she wants, you to, she wants you to propose to her, not just, hey. hey. Hey, she wanted to know so that way she could get herself ready in due time. No, that's not. She wanted a real proposal. Like the ones that like, you know, the tip, like a typical proposal, not one when you're sitting in your okay, Toyota okay, to herself. Okay, okay. Okay, then I got a question for you. What would you say is like a like a standard like what would you say like it's a grand gesture like you're in like a fancy five star no, restaurant? No, it doesn't have to be a grand, it, it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It just has to be not normal. Like it's like hey normal hey uh, you, you want to get some groceries? No, like hey like maybe you take her to a park. You don't have to spend money. Take her to a park or like you know light a candle or something. Like I mean so, I, I, so I let let me. You're lucky. Why. All I'm saying is you you're a lucky individual. Hey I, hey hey I hey I am one of the I will be the first to admit I'm one of the luckiest and one of the happiest men to have ever walked the face of the earth. The wait, let me ask you. Did you did, let me ask you. Did you have a ring? Yeah. Did you give her the ring in the car and she said, "Eh, no thanks" or not yet? No, I had it ready just like for when she wanted to say yes. We we were get stuff ready. All right, just a side note. How tall are you? I'm 6'2". You are not. There's no way you're 6'2". If you're 6'2", six six two, she would have said yes. I'm 6'2", she's no. like 5'. No, not true. Anyways, okay. So, <laughs> how, how did you bow? How did you bow? How, <laughs> how did you bounce back from her saying, do you want to get married? Well, sorry, let me paraphrase. Do you have any interest in getting married to me while seated, seat buckled in a car? How do you how do you bounce back as a human from when she says not yet? I said, hey, okay, then you know what? You let me know when you're ready and we'll get the stuff started. You let me know when you feel like you're ready to get into this marriage and we'll get the process started. I put the ball in her court. I said, "Hey, buddy, are you I are you are you writing a dissertation and submitting it to your professor? Get the process started." What what are we doing? <laughs> uh, no, like how come you didn't how come you didn't call in a year and a half ago when you started subscribing before you made these blunders? Because <laughs> blunders. They're blunders. <laughs> hey, but I'm getting married. Is it a blunder? Are you though? Uh, are you you been yes, for five we years? are. Okay, well guess what, buddy? She still got to walk down the aisle and sign the paperwork. Until that's done, you're not married, pal. Hey. We have the. We just got the paperwork printed to do. We're we're not doing a there's, grand marriage. That's there's we, still we, an out. She like could she, she could take the pen. I'll be like, oh, it's out of ink. See ya and runs out the door. Like it, you, it's not a guaranteed, buddy. You got to stop acting like it. You gotta you gotta make some amends for the not yet for the seated Dan, the seated Dan. proposal. No, don't Dan me. I'm trying to help you, man. You're out I, here I, asking I, for I, help. I know you're trying to help me, but you're making some points, and I want. I, you're making some very specific types of points. Dan, do you judge people or do you want your chat to judge you based on all the deaths that you've had in this Elden Ring DLC? Or do you want them to judge you 
based on those victories that you've clenched. No matter how long right, let, 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 let me, let, let, let me no cut, let, let me you, cut you off there. You got there, didn't you? You got there. You are built on your success. Everybody has blunders, but it's about what happens at the end. The success that matters, right? I have gone to the end. I've blundered. I will, I will fairly admit that I've had my fair share of blunders. Let me say I something. I from those blunders. Let me, say, let me say something. Okay, okay. If I it. propose to my wife seated in a car with a seatbelt on after a standard dinner and a movie I can't remember, I should be judged off this platform. Like, I, I mean, I would, and, and I, I, I think, would be. Dan, yeah. As a fan, I don't think you should be judged off the platform for that. I think Dan, you're trying did she go best. to the bathroom for him too? So let's, let's, let's get to, to modern day. So did you, let me, proposal number two, how did that one go? Or was the, did she just say, give what? you the paperwork and Ooh. said I'm ready? Not yet, Ish. She looked at me after like she had gotten herself set up with a job post graduation, and she was like, "Okay, I think I'm in a position where I'm ready to get married." And I was like, "All right, let's do this. When do you want to get this done?" She's like, "Let's do it in October." Can I? Okay. Can I? Can All I, right. Can October. I? Can I just? Can I just? It's just a general thematic I'm noticing. You're treating this marriage like a like a. A school project to to get done man this is like you get one, I, I you get one shot to not squeaks this and, and now you're getting a second shot to not squeaks it okay I, I can see where you're coming from on that i wouldn't say that i'm viewing it necessarily as a school project rather like we kind of have like both come to the realization that like we're going to be happily spending the rest of our See, lives together. I'm just telling the you, marriage, just, 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 the just marriage, stop, stop the, right the there. No, 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 stop, okay, 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 You okay, can't okay. go into that. Like, you're like, this is a done deal. Buddy, this is not a done deal. I'm telling you, at the courthouse, she could either leave you there stranded, or she's going to say, hey, this pen doesn't have any ink. I have to go to the bathroom and never return. Like, this is not a done deal until it's a done deal. I feel like... I feel like you're not, you're taking things for granted. And, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you may take her a little for granted. Okay, maybe I do take it for granted. Yeah, so, the so, thing that ever yeah. Happened to me, so, 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 I think that you're trying to get too much, either in your head or in my head, that I'm not, she's I'm going to, to leave you. me at the altar. Well, buddy, I, 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 you're, you're trying to prep me it's up for, hey, she's going to leave you, bro. I'm what I, my man. She, was, she eventually came to me and was like, all right, let's get married. Let's do it. Okay, so then how did you propose to her the second time? Cool. She proposed to me. I, I, I dang did. And, what, and can you paint that picture for me? Where were you? What were you doing? Uh, we were just chilling in bed. Uh, we, we were just enjoying the night together. We were watching, uh, some Dimension 20. Uh, the episode had just ended and it, she just, just sprung it right then and there. She was like, Hey, do you want to get married? I was like, sure. Okay. I, 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 I know that you're probably thinking you're taking this very casually for probably one of the most important days in any individual's no, life. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not judging. What I'm judging is like, did, have you given her a ring? Yeah, we both have rings. Is, We're trying, is there, is there we, any yeah. is there any video game memorabilia engraved in either of those rings or anime? Are you looking for those types of things? Because the answer is no. I was just wondering. Okay. No, they are very traditional. I, we are getting our rings from our ancestors before us that have been handed down for generations. Okay, well, can you act like like I should think, assume this is traditional. Everything you've told me has been anything but, but traditional. So why would I think that, uh, that you would have yes, traditional yes, rings? You are, yeah. you are I, you know what? You know what? You're absolutely right on that. Yes, we are very much taking a non-traditional approach to this, but we, we, we are very much our own products, but we are also a product of what came before us. And we wanted that to be symbolized in the rings passed down by our family that we love very dear. And you got them for free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, of course that's going to be a nice benefit. We're uh, broke. Okay, so... <laughs> now, 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 now we bet. Now we're up to date. Okay, so well, now we're up to date. Now we're up to date. So before I before more. I give you marriage advice, I just need to make sure that the marriage happens. Okay, so can you can can you let me ask you this? When is the last time? And this is not a judgment. This is just a genuine question. I want you to think about when is the last time you went out of your way 
to make, do, or treat her very special for maybe no reason. To, okay, so to what degree are we talking about here? Like, it's a simple question. Like a, simple question. Like, I, I, I try to go out of my way. Like, I get her gifts. I try to treat her well. Like, I try to do whatever I I'm can. Not, I'm not looking for you to give me a political... I'm just give me this last specific example and roughly how long ago it was. Uh, I want to say it was probably like in the last couple weeks I bought her a book that she was looking for. Uh, did she tell you she wanted it? Yeah, she told me that she was looking like she was interested in this series and I bought her uh, like the first book from the series. Okay, okay. And every now and then, uh, like she's a big fan of like Junji Ito who does like horror Excuse type me? stories. Excuse me? Uh, Junji Ito who is uh, a horror novelist uh, and artist and she's big into his work so whenever a new book from uh him drops i immediately go out and i get it for her. okay let me let me rephrase that those are all very nice things let me ask this when's the last time you've done something romantic for her that didn't involve anime or cartoons or fictional works not fairly recently like like within this last week i gave her a night that like she is going to remember i'm okay. not going to go into the gritty details of it but there was a night that she's not going to forget. Um, um keep I'm, it, keep it, keep it this appropriate for little bro. I, I, I am down to I'll, move forward. If you are, please understand. I'll, that I'll let you. I'll, he, I'll, he I'm, gonna, I'm, am, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take your word at this one. Okay. So, to circle back to your initial question, which was, what? Wait. Can you repeat that? You, so you, I asked you to hop on a Discord call, bud, because you had an initial right, question. Right, 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 what right, 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 was your right, right, right. initial question? Okay, so it, obviously as somebody who has had a successful marriage, you know, you have a loving wife, you have great kids. What are some pieces of, like, bits of advice that you've learned over the time with your marriage that you think that some people might overlook when, like, they're either getting into a relationship for the first time or getting married for the first, second, third hopefully for only first ever time but you know some people they go on a second third what are some bits of advice that you would say to somebody who is like yeah i've never done this before so what, what what's something that you notice that you notice that many other people notice so you asked me advice from my marriage well i'm not going to give you advice from my marriage because we're not the same like you need yeah, you, you need you need custom tailor marriage advice because you and i are very different um, so what I would say is that uh, though it may seem for your relationship a little avant-garde, I would say anything you can do that is outside of your normal box of like anime, books, characters to make her feel special. Maybe like, you know, you could Google like things that girls like, even if she doesn't like them and just like every now and then just completely surprise her. But to give you some like non-customized advice for you to make sure that this marriage happens you have to look out for her and think about her 200 percent more times than you think about yourself if you do that you're good if she's mad at you for something okay what what did you do to propagate that madness sometimes it's things that you did sometimes it's not either way you take it on the chin okay okay so don't I, from what I'm getting from this, it's like if there are small spats, small arguments, to not take it too personally, but to just try to talk to her about it, see what's bothering her, and see what I can do to help. I'm gonna boil it down even simpler. Okay. You should be it. you should be thinking as much as humanly possible, almost pretty much all the time. Dan, I how, you have to how, understand. How can I, I am, how can I make her happy? What what? what can i do to make her happy or what can i do to look out for her take care of her okay i, I think i can do that but you have to understand dan i am uh dan giesling and northern lion viewer there's not many thoughts that go through my brain to start well nonetheless kunj I, we definitely learned a lot about you and and i wouldn't you know what i would even like I'll, let me give you i'll give you a little homework here and you, you could circle back you could circle okay. back Th this is not okay. this is not a side quest this is a main quest um, all right 
when roughly when are you supposed to sign the papers we'll be signing the papers uh like early to mid october okay we have a date set but i'm gonna keep it vague for chat what okay um your homework is to even though it's already happened and, and you got the not yet is to re-propose to her to roughly like a couple weeks before just to reignite the flames and just do something that you normally wouldn't do take her to a park just some just something like a little bit more saucy than than one piece in a movie like just do that and then what and then i guarantee she's gonna sign the paperwork Okay, I'll take your word for it, even though, like, I am 110% positive she's going to sign him anyways. But I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to take her out, give her a nice evening, romanticize her. And it's not like a proposal, but it's just more like, hey, I can't wait to do this. And it's like a re-ignition of, you know, because there's been a lot of stalling in your relationship, which, you know, you've, you've, you've clearly defined the reasons why. And, okay, and there's, been, there's been some blunders, but this is like, I'm just telling you, like you take this little bit of charge, it'll it'll go a long way. Okay, okay. So I'm thinking, and this is going to be a bit forced in here. I'm thinking about taking her on a nice romantic getaway. I'm thinking a ten day of lasting cruise. Do you know anybody who could hook me up? Uh, Kanju was great talking to you, man. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> and uh, you, let man. me let me know after you repropose to her because the not yet you got to get that stigma off pre marriage. He was, yo, Kunj was ready. Kunj did his homework, he was ready. I did not troll him the entire time. Zonos says, out of curiosity, when are we going to cancel this segment? It's only on Mondays and Zonos when the view co count stops going this way, hey Dan, then I'll stop Monday. it. That's when I'll stop it. If it continues to do this, then I will continue to do it. If it does this, then I'll be like, time to move on. All right, <clears throat> no problem. And it's just on Monday, Zona, so I get it if it's not for you. You wanna, you wanna see raucous gameplay? I got you. New viewer here came from the Alaskan cruise journey. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, I, but I, Zonos, I'm with you. It's it's not for everyone, but at least everyone knows the day it's gonna happen. And we we won't take we won't we won't do advice Tuesdays, just advice Mondays. I will say like I give him if Kunj is is resilient if nothing else. The fact he's still around after she said not yet. I mean, I'm rooting for him, man. Chumbawamba says my girlfriend's birthday's in four days. She hates gifts, so we're not getting her one. No, she hates getting bad gifts and things she doesn't like. Which is probably the only thing she's ever gotten up to this point from you. Um, so if you go up, roll up to her on her birthday and not do or have or give her something, you're cooked. It's not BM Monday. I'm, you, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be here for advice segment, you cannot say BM. I am telling things to help people. They may not want to hear it, but that you don't ask advice to not get the outcome you want. The advice is to get the outcome that you want. I like gifts, but I tell people I don't want gifts because I don't want the gifts that they give me. Hey, don't get, you don't have to get me anything because you don't know what I really want. So I'd rather you not get me anything than me get something and then I have to return it. No, it has nothing to do with a Ford. Mams literally said Google what girls like to get a present for them. Okay, Google, what do girls like? Hey, Google, what are girl gifts for anniversaries? Hey, Google, do girls like flowers? Okay, Siri, where should I take a girl you on a date? Geez. Alexa, how do I tell the department store clerk at Montgomery Ward I need a special present present for a swell gal? Chat, this is the run. Chat, raise your Dan G's. <gasps> also, this may be setting a bad precedence, but 
For people that come on Advice Mondays on the Discord, 24 hour VIP. But it takes some stones to come on the show. So I can I can reward said stones with VIP a city. PB me. Wait, did the PB move without me moving it? Murphy, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. KY Jellyfish, thanks for the 27 and 0. I appreciate it. Go go. Chat, where do we last where do we last leave things off with go go? Post six flags, I forget. Thank you. Can we Under the mushroom, thank you for the five gifted. The appreciate the support. Truly do. Beach date. Chat, do you really want to hear from a 6'2 Division One athlete? Who squeaks the date multiple times, but still gets victories. He's not like us, chat. He's not like us. Kunj is, is probably more like you. <laughs> chat, I'm not 6'2". I'm just a hair under 6'1". Gogo -go went to get advice from Kate. Yeah, that's... Gogo, -go, part of the program is you only listen to one coach. So you're... I think you're gone for a while, but... Yeah. You made me spit coffee on your computer? What, what word? What word? Do you not press the button to roll around on the ground? What are you saying? Not like us. Good, I'm good. General advice for meeting new friends, Pokeball. Up in the Discord, bud. Are you a first time chatter? I may have to read that. Be a first time chatter. Not a first time chatter. Yeah. Hop in the Discord, bud. Is this the nanny imp of negative dial? Rescue Ryan, I can't stop looking at that message. How did you do that? Holy s chat. Holy streamer dopamine, look at this. Rescue Ryan is not like us. Hold on. Full metal. Look at that. Imagine seeing normal chat next to that. I can't stop looking at it, man. Like a moth to a flame. Why do we have any Vic? Great question. Two Sorry years ago, we bits. were playing Elden Ring. We were fighting Radon and one No, Chad, I don't look like the Costco guy. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate your acquiescence. Daddy Glob. Tipped three dollars. Easy to pile on streamer to farm plus two S, but good talk damn. Nice reminder to be more thoughtful and conscientiousness. Gonna implement and treat my wife to some nice things and gestures. Thanks. Take an underscore and another underscore. Yo, thank you for the underscores. Chat, there is no greater gift you can give me than a TTS underscore. Daddy Glove, thank you. Underscores are like plus two millions to me. The only thing I, the only thing that, I just don't like one underscore. One underscore leaves me wanting more. All right. Basically begging for plus twos from his wife, Arbard. Until, Arbard, until you hop on the Discord in Sacramento, California, 
Your your brand equity is capped. Okay. Like, Kunj just leapfrogged over your brand equity. Harvard, and you've been wor you've been working at it for years. There's no recovery from that voice call from Arbard. I thought you were going to make fun of Arbard's voice. Has anyone ever Still talked here to Arbard? Underscore. Still here underscore question mark. Still here underscore. 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 Still here. It's not chat. The art of the TTS is an art. You've got people. It's rare that someone comes out of the gate and nails it. There's been people like Tiberius that have honed their craft developed brand equity and then pivoted and developed another hook that's very hard to do but i do commend you for trying <clears throat> it's not easy those that do are revered ryan gary what's going on by the way sorry mister yeah i mean T tidgeman is the Thank is the you, original tts artist man in the chat Brown Lantern, thank you for the 10 gifted. Really appreciate the support. Can we get some damn Chad, have you been gifted from Brown Lantern? Yeah. Please use your first dang emoji at Brown Lantern. Thank you. Thank you for the support. My girlfriend and I have been together for three years and moved in a month ago. When should I propose? Two years ago. Buddy, you're just going through a major life event. You want to do another one? You're moving in? How about one at a time? Clearly, you like to move slow. All right. Let's get this toast. Hold on. What's Murph saying? I'm not going to dunk on Murph. I'm not. He plays Bellatro on YouTube. He gets dunked on enough by the comments. I'm, I'm gonna cut him a break, man. He just came back out of retirement. I don't want to send him back there. I don't. Testing. I think Murph is a good content hey, creator. We need more of them. I got a voice to TTS extension. I can create messages just by saying them. How cool is that? You can beat this boss. Huh? Yay, it's off now. Yay, he's still fighting this tree sentinel. Right? He just beat another one. Classic Dan. What? No way, not in 2024. Are you kidding? Uh, what are you thinking? Probably just a soup and sandwich for me. Huh? Oh, he said he likes when you say under SCO maximum characters exceeded. I don't know what's going on right now. Tree Sentinel. More like flee from the Sentinel. FSLGS, thank you for the bits. Right now, right now you have like finger paints. And some reused printer paper on that art, but that's okay. All art starts somewhere.
Advice for your wedding day this weekend. Lucid, let me ask you this. Eh, I'm not taking that bait. I would I would need to see a wedding invitation DM to me in Discord or some proof you're getting married, then I will I'll hit that advice. I don't want to be invited, I just need to see there's proof. Because I don't think that you're getting married this weekend. Based on a few factors, one your name, all lowercase, and three numbers in it with an underscore, and the fact you've only been around for a month. Best gifts are experiences over stuff. Merv, thanks for the shiny text. I read the first sentence and then turned away. Appreciate the support, though. First, that coach on the coaching staff, the head coach. Give some constructive criticism to one of the players so they become a better player. Murph's the kind of coach to come right next to the player. Undercut the head coach and say, it's okay, bud. We'll get him next time. No, it's not. Not if you don't practice your free throws. We're not beating anyone. We're not. If you go 0 for 10 from the stripe and we lose by 11, you're not helping. Get your butt in the gym, shoot 100 free throws a day until you start splashing at least 50% if you're going to play on this ball club. 